Hello everyone. Today, I will show you how to ensure the normal use of the battery after installation through battery recording. This time, the devices and materials we used are as follows. Before recording, we need to install the battery FPC of the original one on the Fly CD battery. And when the cable is removed, we need to tear all the outer three layers before proceeding to the next step. Note that lubricating oil should be added to the positive and negative electrode before adding tin, so that it will not be difficult to mold due to hardening. Before adding tin, it is necessary to adjust the solder horn to 350 degrees Celsius. Dot. Now, we need add tin. The entire process requires three times of tin addition. And this is the first time. To make the battery FPC completely and safely fall off. Which is to make it easier to weld the Fly CD battery cells and enhances fault tolerance. The process of removing the Fly CD battery FPC is the same as removing the original battery FPC. Note before welding the original battery FPC and Fly CD cell. We need to weld the front side down of the welding head so that the battery can be used normally. Otherwise it cannot be recorded. Now, this is the third tin addition which is added to the welding position dot to make it more stable. Next, hold the battery FPC to the top and press it tightly against the battery to prepare to apply the original film. Install the protective case of the original battery FPC and attach the outer film. Install the external FPC, it is equivalent to a cracker. There is this installed mobile phone will display the official battery, otherwise the mobile phone will display the battery unofficial prompt every time it is turned on. Note, connect the Fly CD battery to the code reader programmer and confirm that the original battery FPC data has been correctly read. Now, we can see the programmer shows that the read data is inactive. Activate the Fly CD battery. Change the battery life to 100%. and clear the number of charge cycles. Because the external FPC is not an accessory within the phone, it needs to be folded inside the phone. Now let me show you the folding method in detail. The first boot must use the data cable to turn on, because the battery cannot be used directly after the battery is written, and it is necessary to use the power supply of the charging head data cable to turn on. Shut down and restart again. If it can be started normally, it can be determined that the battery is in normal use. Okay, so much for today. If you have other operations or repair issues you are interested in, welcome to leave us a message. Bye.